Juan Lebron and Ale Galán are not gonna play again together. It's not a lie. Juan Lebron and Ale Galán, the current number ones in the world, are breaking up. After four years, Lebron and Galán decided to split up. So what the heck has happened and who took the decision? Hello to all players and I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new four set from here from Doha, Qatar. Finally, it's real. Lebron and Galán has decided to part ways. After four years and 33 titles together, Lebron and Galan are not gonna play together again, so why? But before everything, please subscribe to the channel to be the first one to know the new partners of Ale Galan and Juan Lebron. Just a few hours ago, here in Doha, Qatar, all has exploded. Here, the first major of Premier Padel 2024 season is being played. That means that one of the four best tournaments of the year is currently played. And obviously, that means also so much pressure for the players. But all this story begins last year. In 2023, for the first time in his career, Juan Lebron got injured. Do you remember that injury on his elbow? Well, that pain took Juan Lebron out of the court for two months. During that time, Ale Galán played with John Sanz and even reached a final in Valencia. That was the first time in three years that Galán shared the court with a different player than Juan Lebron. And probably Galán realized that he could be competitive as well without Juan Lebron. At the same time, Coelho and Tapia reached the first position of the ranking both in World Padel Tour and Premier Padel. Remember that Lebron and Galán were in that position for three years. In that period of time, they defended that position against couples like Paquito Dineno or San Juan Tapia. And finally and suddenly, Arturo Coelho and Agustin Tapia, two youngsters, took that position. So finally, Lebron came back from his injury in the Premier Padel Italy Major in Rome. But at the end, his performance and his game style has changed so much. We were used to see Juan Lebron smashing from all over the court, but suddenly, he didn't smash nothing. When the couple Lebron and Galán were in 2023 in the worst moments, then suddenly they come back. They reached some finals and won in Menorca, Malmo and Milano. And even they reached the final in the master final against Paquito and Chingoto and remember this name. Anyways, after that master final, Lebron and Galan decided to continue their adventure together for the 2024 season. And that was one of the best news for all the Padel fans to see Coelho Tapia, Stupa Dineno and Lebron Galan healthy and ready for the new season of Premier Padel. During the preseason, Lebron and Galan didn't show up in the Hexagon Cup, but they did it in the Reserve Cup in Miami. There, they played against the Super Pibes Stupan Dineno and lost against them. But obviously, the Reserve Cup was an exhibition and that was something to be prepared for the Premier Padel season that started last week in Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia. The first tournament of the first full season of Premier Padel. Because remember that the two previous seasons of Premier Padel were at the same time at the World Padel Tour. So this year is gonna be the most epic season in the history of Padel. And the adventure for Lebron and Galani in Premier Padel 2024 couldn't start better. In the round of 16, they faced Koki Nieto and John Sanz and they won over them. And what happened in semifinals? They played against the Super Pibes. In three sets, Lebron and Galan beat Stupa and Dineno. And who were waiting in the final? <laughs> Arturo Coelho and Agustin Tapia. So, in the same tournament, in the first tournament of the season, Lebron and Galan faced Stupa Dineno and Coelho and Tapia. And who won the title? Juan Lebron and Ale Galan, because in the final, they won in the third set 6-4 against Coelho and Tapia. And with that result, Lebron and Galan reached again the first position in the fifth ranking, the Premier Padel ranking. They played the final last Saturday and in Monday they needed to play in Doha, here in the capital of Qatar. But this tournament, remember, is a major. That means the biggest prize pool and the highest points. Obviously, if you combine both, that means pressure. In 2022 and 2023, Lebron and Galan played here in Doha, but they didn't win. So, if you mix these feelings plus this tournament is an outdoor tournament, it's not an easy one. But anyways, first round for Lebron and Galan, they could win easily against Solana and Windal. 
After that win, Lebron and Galan reach the media center and ask this question from Carles Prat from Padel 20. Después de tantos tiempo diciendo de la separación famosa de Ale Galán y Juan Lebron, por fin podemos dejar ya descartado y que la gente siga pensando que tenemos Juan Lebron y Ale Galán para mucho tiempo. Pero es que eso solo lo decís vosotros. Nosotros nunca hemos hablado al respecto y, y bueno, la verdad que, que estamos en un, en un muy buen momento, con muchas ganas de, de, de hacerlo lo mejor posible en pista y creo que lo mejor posible para nosotros es ganar muchos títulos. Obviously, Ale Galán at that moment didn't expect what is gonna happen because the next match will be the end of an era, the end of the project Juan Lebron and Ale Galán. Round of 16, Doha, Premier Padel, Major 2024, Juan Lebron, Ale Galán against Javi Garrido and Mike Yanguas. First set for Juan Lebron and Ale Galán in the tiebreak 7-6. Second set, 7-6 for Javi Garrido and Mike Young was also in the tiebreak. And then in the third set is where all exploded. In a moment in the third set, Young was asked for a video review for a Lebron serve. The referee called it out so Lebron lost his serve. After that, some bad comments between the players started that I couldn't even hear from the stands. But the moment was when Juan Lebron and Ale Galán lost their serve and they ran off the court. There, Juan Lebron hit the ball that passed really close to Yanguas. So Juan y Mieres, Yanguas and Garrido's coach, stood up and asked for that to Lebron. They were confronting each other and Garrido and Yanguas called the supervisor. The game continued, but Lebron was out of his mind. So finally, Galán and Lebron lost their final match. And this is how Galán looked after that loss. Just imagine how frustrated could feel Galán in that moment. But the worst part is that the problems were not finished on the court, but off the court. Just for you to know the situation, Garrido, Yangua, and Mieres reached the media center with two body wards. And after that crazy day, Lebron uploaded an Instagram story saying sorry. So probably you are wondering if there is gonna be a penalty for Juan Lebron. Well, I have talked with some referees and they told me that the penalties are given once the tournament is over. And the penalties can be economical or related to lose tournaments. That means that Lebron can get a penalty and he will be forced to not appear in some tournaments. But anyways, after this Premier Padel Qatar Major here in Doha, the next following tournament will be in Acapulco in two weeks. And Juan Lebron and Ale Galán are already enrolled to the tournament. They appear as the first couple in the ranking. So that tournament in Acapulco, where the paddle was invented in 1969, could be the last tournament of Juan Lebron and Ale Galán together. So who took the decision to split up? Well, it's obvious that that was Ale Galan. So what were the main reasons behind that? The first thing that comes to my mind is that possible penalty. Imagine the case that I don't think is gonna happen that Lebron got a penalty for five or seven tournaments. But honestly, I don't think that is gonna happen. So a second reason could be their game style. But after winning in Riyadh and over Koyan Tapia and Stupa Dineno, I don't think so. So the third reason and the most probably one is about the image and the behavior. We all know that Juan Lebron is so passionate on the court and that without a doubt is part of his success. But what happened against Garrido and Yang was, honestly, I have never seen something like that. Because we have seen Juan Lebron claiming something to Ale Galán during some matches or even against some opponents. And obviously what happened in Chile is something different. There in Chile was no aggressive, there was no verbal violence. So now just try to think how frustrated could felt Ale Galán the other day. Actually, when Galán shake hands with Garrido and Young was he said sorry about everything. He knew at that moment what happened, but he couldn't even imagine what is gonna happen after that. So now that Ale Galán has taken the decision to split their ways with Juan Lebron, who is gonna play with? Well, 99% official, Ale Galán is gonna play with Fede Chingoto. 
Remember that Fede Chingoto won the Master Final with Paquito Navarro against Juan Lebron and Ale Galán. Like this video if you want an analysis of this new couple Ale Galán and Fede Chingoto. And now we have the doubt about the new partner for Juan Lebron. Could it be Momo González? Or maybe Paquito Navarro? What about Javi Garrido or Juan Tello or even Juan Lebron moving to the left and playing with John Sand? We will see this week so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching the video because this is something crucial. From Doha, Qatar at 3 a.m. in the morning, thank you so much for watching the video and see you in the next one. Ciao!